my channel so today we're gonna to be talking about another brand of wigs that I actually have not heard of for the first time it's a new one so the brand is called elf wigs this is what the box looks like so they did send me the wig but you know I'm always gonna tell you what's what so let's open up the box so when you open up the box there is the wig here so you get a brush that's similar to the other ones, but this one's just round, so just like perfect for your palm, I'm pretty sure. Then you get a necklace like this, which is pretty fucking cool. The mask on it. And then you get a head cap. So just like last time, I'm gonna try this wig on. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of concealer on the roots, but I wanna show you what this wig is like out of the box, essentially, because when you buy it, I, I don't wanna alter it and change it completely so you think that that's what you're buying. So I know that I'm not making it look real. Um, it's more just about showing you what it's like out of the box and with the most minimal changes that you can do in a second versus something that might take a very long time, okay? Okay, so this is what the wig looks like on. I just barely, barely put a little bit of concealer quickly on the roots. And I did that to test how immediately wearable out of the box it is. I do like how towards the ends it gets thinner and it's layered so it's not just like consistently thick, which is something that makes wigs look a lot wiggier. Obviously, once you put some powder on it, it'll be less shiny, so it'll look more real if that's what you're going for. Another thing you could potentially do if you want to make it look more real is thin it out a little bit, because this one is not super thick, but in a good way, in the sense that it already looks more natural. Um, I do also really like the gradient of black to this pink and I like how the purple is very rich versus the really pastel pink. I think that's really different because instead of having a wholly pastel look, it's like intense and then chill kind of thing. So I really like that. Overall, this wig is super soft. I did wear it before filming this video, obviously before, like days before filming this video. Um, and I found that it didn't really tangle that much. So I was really impressed with that because like I've said previously, synthetic wigs tangle so very easily, which is one of their biggest downfalls in my opinion. But I was really impressed with this. I also just can't get over the layers. I'm really a big fan of that. Uh, one thing I might do is cut a little bit of layers also, not bangs, but just like shorter because like this black part, like all the hair, is long right so like i mean until the first layer so what i might do is cut a layer above that just to have like a shorter kind of hair that goes behind my ear if that makes sense this is what it looks like from the back it is long it almost reaches pretty much like butt area um but as you can see it does get thinner towards the bottom I am a really big fan of this one. This might be one of my new favorite wigs, to be quite honest. I really, really love it. I really would recommend e.l.f. wigs after this one. Uh, I will put all the information in the description bar, so if you're interested, you can go check them out. They have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of really different styles, so if you're into that, check the link in the description. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, as usual, to my patrons, and let's get on to the fan art. <laughs> 